Jorge U. Prince, Haiti, Haiti's chief prosecutor on Tuesday asked a judge to charge Prime Minister Ariel Henry in the slaying of the president and asked officials to bar him from leaving the country. The order filed by Port-au-Prince prosecutor Bedford Claude came on the same day that he had requested Henry meet with him and explain why a key suspect in the assassination of President Jovenel Moise called him twice just hours after the killing. There are enough compromising elements. To Prosich. A spokesman for Henry could not immediately be reached for comment. Claude said the calls were made at 4.03 and 4.20 a.m. on July 7, adding that evidence shows the suspect, Joseph Badio, was in the vicinity of Moise's home at that time. Badio once worked for Haiti's Ministry of Justice and at the government's anti-corruption unit until he was fired in May amid accusations of violating unspecified ethical rules. In the two-page document, Claude said the calls lasted a total of seven minutes and that Henry was at the Hotel Montana in Port-au-Prince at that time. He also noted that a government official tweeted last month that Henry told him he never spoke with Badio. On Monday, Justice Minister Rockefeller Vincent ordered the chief of Haiti's National Police to boost security for Claude because the prosecutor had received important and disturbing threats in the past five days. Robert Fatten, a Haitian politics expert at the University of Virginia, said there is clearly a fight within the government between Henry and those who supported Moise. We have a very confusing situation, a power struggle at the moment, and we will see who will win it, he said. The real culprits, the intellectual authors and co-author and sponsor of the assassination of President Jovenel Moise will be found and brought to justice and punished for their crimes. More than 40 suspects have been arrested in the case, including 18 former Colombian soldiers. Authorities are still looking for additional suspects, including Badio and a former Haitian senator, 